In this video, you will learn how to log on to the library catalog and put books on hold for yourself. The easiest way to get to the library catalog for your school is to start at the Kalamazoo Public Schools homepage, kalamazoopublicschools.com. And once you're here, click on Schools in the upper right and find your school. I'm going to go to Woods Lake. And once the Woods Lake or your school's page comes up, click on the library button in the upper left. And here on the library page, to get to the library catalog, click on Access File at Destiny. And that will open up your school's library catalog. The first thing to do once you're here on the library catalog page is to log into the catalog. And you do that by clicking on the login button in the upper right. Your login information is the same information you use to log into a KPS Chromebook. Your first name and your last name together. And the password is ID, the letters ID, and your ID number. So I'm going to put in a sample account. ID, and then the ID number. Click on Submit or hit Enter. And now you are logged in to the library catalog. Your name should appear here, and the login button is replaced with a icon of a person. One thing I want to point out right here on the main page is that some of the books well, on this page, all of the books say in. They are available. And when you're putting books on hold, we recommend that you only put books on hold that are in or available. That way, the library staff can check them out to you much faster. If the book is checked out, then you will have to wait until the book is returned and it's made available to be checked out again. So to get books quickly, just put books on hold that are in. So you can either choose from what is right here on the main screen. This is the recently added books. Or if you want something specific, you click a title or an author or a subject up in the search box. I'll search for dogs. And I get a result list. And if you notice right here in the results, there's a place where I can hold a book. So I will scroll down and see if there's a book that I am interested in checking out. Dogs on Duty, Soldier's Best Friend on the Battlefield and Beyond. I'm gonna put that one on hold. All I have to do is click on the button. And maybe I wanna see if there is another book that I'd like to check out. Here's a book that would be interesting, but notice it is already out. So I shouldn't put that one on hold. And here's another one that's checked out. But this book is in, and this is a fiction book that has characters in it that are dogs. So I think I'll put that one on hold also. And that's how you put a book on hold. Now, one other thing to point out to you, if you want to know what books you have on hold, or you want to know what books you have checked out, if you click on these three lines, sometimes it's called a pancake stack, in the upper left corner, you get some information about your account. If you click on checkouts, you'll see all the books you currently have checked out. Uh, if you want to see all the books you've checked out in your time in Kalamazoo Public Schools, you can click on history. And here is where you can find out what books you have on hold. So I have five books on hold, and here they are. And these are the books that the library staff will use to pull to check out to me for the next time I come to pick up library books. If I go back to this menu, I want to show you the Favorites button. If you mark any books as Favorites, they will be listed here. So let's see. You can put 10 books on hold, 
But what if there are like 10 more that you know you'd really like to check out someday and you just don't want to forget about them? You can mark them as favorites. Let's see. Let me show you how to do that. Let's say I want to read some books about cats also, but I don't want to check them out immediately. I can click on this favorite button. And let's see. So now I have three books marked as favorites. If I go back to the three lines or the pancake stack, still have the same five books on hold, but if I click on favorites, here are the books that I marked as favorites. And here you can put them on hold when you are ready to. So that's a good way to save titles uh, for later that you are interested in checking out and you just don't want to forget about them. So that's how you put books on hold and the library staff will see that they are on hold and will pull four of them. You can check out four books at a time and pull them and check them out for you and have them ready for the pickup day for curbside library pickup.